What's up guys, it's me Eric B and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be talking about two popular helmets on the market right now, Shoei's flagship X14 and the AGV top of the line Pista GPRR. Now, I used to have the original uh, R version and now I have the RR. This is also the special edition model and you're probably wondering what the difference is between the R and the RR. So there's not much, there's just a couple of things, but let me go over them real quick. So right off the bat, um, the, it's gonna be the spoiler on the exterior. So the R model had more of a biplane type spoiler, while on this one, they went with more of a, uh, a solid unit. And what that is supposed to do is uh, just basically give the helmet a more aerodynamic design. That's what AGV has uh, found to be best. Also, this helmet now meets or complies with the FIM uh, racing standard, FIM. Um, and basically all that is is just a higher standard of testing for MotoGP. And now the RR is the MotoGP replica. Some other things to note is the, uh, the pads on the inside. So those are now more customizable, more adjustable. Um, it comes with uh, some additional pads and stuff like that that you can add in there and uh, kind of make fit to your head a little bit better than the older uh, model, which was a little bit more limited. Other than that, that's really the, the big differences between the R and the RR. All right, guys, so both of these helmets look really good and you can't go wrong with either one in terms of styling, but I wonder what they look like when they're on. What the f <laughs> I was uh, definitely bored in the house that day. All right guys, so in terms of styling, both helmets look really good and you can't go wrong with whatever you get. It's really gonna be you know, up to your, your styling preference. And I had a really tough time when I was looking at both these helmets on which one I wanted to get. If I had to choose one, I would definitely give it to the AGV. I personally just love the, the styling of it. And come on, Italians make some nice looking stuff. They make nice cars, nice motorcycles nice helmets. If uh, you're looking to save a little bit of, of money, the Shoei is probably going to be in your best interest because it is going to be a little bit cheaper than the AGV. Not saying that this is cheap by any means, but it's better than the AGV. So brand new, this comes in at about $730 and ranges all the way up to about $860. Just depends on the, uh, the style and everything like that that you get. And with the Pista, it's going to be about $1499 for the base and for the special edition model, it's running at about $1700. Okay, so I want to talk about uh, the material that these are made out of the wind noise and the weight starting off with the AGV so the Pisa is a fully carbon shell which is good because it's lightweight but it's bad because then it has a lot of wind noise um, and the thing ships with earplugs I typically wear earplugs with all of my helmets whenever I ride and this thing you definitely have to wear earplugs especially if you're gonna be going fast in it um, for the showy it is a multi-layer fiberglass shell so the wind noise in this one's not gonna be as bad as the AGV not saying it's not loud it's just not as bad but you got to think about it both of these are race helmets so they're gonna be loud as far as the weight goes I'm gonna give it to the AGV um, just because it is a little bit lighter both helmets are super lightweight but the AGV does come in at 1550 grams or 3.4 pounds and the showy comes in at 1750 grams or 3.8 pounds now looking at the vents here on both of the helmets here both flow air really good um, the AGV has the three vents on top here it has plugs that you can pop out um, in order to allow that airflow to come in and then down here by the chin you're gonna have a uh, lever on the inside of the helmet that you popped out uh, that you pop down and then it's gonna have some air flowing through there which is really good it, it flows air pretty good but the winner is going to be the showy because this thing can flow some air it has a lot of vents all over the place and that's what this is really good for so there's a vent on top of the helmet right here that you can fill the air it has a vent right here by your forehead and then you have a vent right there so it hits you right here in the face so if this starts to fog up a little bit you can just open that up and it'll um, allow some you know air to clear that up and it has one more right down there and that allows air to kind of come in through your cheek pads and everything and you do feel it so that's awesome that this has you know the amount of uh, vents and stuff that it does and you feel all that air all over the place so definitely going to give it to showy 
um, when it comes to that. Sorry in advance guys if you hear any kind of raindrops and stuff like that in the audio in the background. It's been raining for like three days now. I tried to find little breaks in the rain to, to film but it just kept coming back on me. All right diving into the visors on both of these helmets. They both have really good field of view because they both are race helmets but I feel that the AGV has a wider field of view um, and you can see it just on the helmets. I don't know if it's just me or if you guys can uh, tell that as well but when we talk about the operation of these helmets, the AGV, when it's closed, you open it up via this little button here because it locks into place like that. So you can open it up. And the Shoei does the same thing. It has a little locking mechanism and then you can just open it up. But right off the bat, the AGV only has two positions. It's either fully up or fully closed. There's no in between like the Shoei has. So uh, there's been a lot of complaints where once you start going, you know, you get a little bit of wind flow, it's just gonna drop down and that's just natural. Once again, it's a race helmet. That's, that's just the way it's gonna be. Although Shoei has designed theirs a little bit differently. They're like every other helmet. So it has multiple positions where you can adjust the helmet and it'll actually stay open once uh, the bike starts moving. Um, so that closes down like so. Now, if you're wearing thicker gloves, I find it a little hard to uh, get open and I have to kind of push it and it rips open like that. Whereas the AGV, kind of just push the button and can push it open ever so gracefully. Okay, so as far as uh, the installation and removal of the visor, it's uh, fairly simple on each. So for the AGV, the mechanism is actually built into the visor itself. So you just take this little uh, lever here, pull down on it, and then it detaches just like that. And then the reinstall, just same thing, pull it down. If I can find it here, push it back in, release it, and then you're good to go. Right here on the Shoei, it has a little lever here that you can pull down and then pop that right out. And then you just make sure you line it back up, push it in and let it go. And it's good to go. Let me try this on for you guys real quick so you can see how it goes on and off. All right, so the Shoei, oh man. Shoei is a tight fit, so this feels really good. I really like the way that the pads and everything feel around your whole head on this helmet, and uh, there's no issues with that there. I don't know how well you can see the chin curtain here. It comes all the way back to the neck, um, but I really like the sh fitment of the Shoei. AGV is just a little bit easier to get on. So, I don't know if you can see the chin pad at all, or the, excuse me, the chin curtain at all, it doesn't come back as far as the showy does. Um, still feels pretty good, nice tight fit, but it doesn't have the same type of pads that the showy has. So on the inside, the showy just feels like it just covers your entire head. It's super comfortable. I'm not saying that this isn't comfortable, but um, I think I'm gonna give it to showy as far as the, uh, the padding on the inside goes. Okay guys, so finally the stability and the aerodynamics of these helmets, they are both super stable. Um, they, you know, they're both built in a wind tunnel. They're race helmets, they've been proven and um, they're both super stable. Now I will say, I think the AGV is a little bit more stable than the Shoei. Um, could be wrong, you know, other people may say vice versa that the Shoei is more stable than the AGV. So obviously when you're in a full tuck position, you're not gonna have that much uh, stability issues, but say if you come up into more of a sport oriented riding position, I think the Shoei on me bobbles just a little bit, but uh, the AGV is just rock steady. It just cuts through the air. So um, that's just my two cents on that. All right, guys, that's it. That is my overview on both of these awesome helmets. And like I said before, you cannot go wrong with either one. Um, if you decide you want to pick up the X14 or the Pisa GPR or RR, I hope this uh, video helped you out in your decision. If you're liking the content, go ahead and hit that like button, guys. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can stay updated on all of my latest content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.